guys, today I'm going to show you how to make turns on your ball runs. And this is something that adds a little bit of change up rather than just a straight track the whole time. So once you know how to make the U-turn and the L-turn, you can make as many turns as you want to make your ball run look super exciting. Um, you'll need a marble or a ping pong ball or one of our Kiva balls. Your Kiva planks, of course, and an open space. So go ahead and grab those and let's get started. The first turn I'm going to show you is the U-turn. So to start off, we're going to stack five planks together and lay them right about there. Then we're gonna take four planks and lay them about a plank's length apart. And we can always move these to make sure it lines up the way we want it to. Take three, you can see that we're descending gradually. And let's go ahead and lay our, our um, shoot down to make sure we have the right distance between the planks. Taking two planks here. Now for making a U-turn, when you get down to the third, the three planks here, you wanna make sure that the edge of the shoot comes right about to the end of the, this plank here because we're going to then take three planks and lay that one here and then take two planks and lay it here. Then we're going to create our first platform to the first part of our turn by laying five planks flat. And now I'm going to create the second part of the slope by taking two planks and stacking them here, then taking one plank and laying it, uh, let's lay it here. And now um, I'm going to lay, actually I wanna make sure that this plank has enough edge that we can lay the second part of the chute down. So you can see that we're going down five, four, three, and then two here and here and one here. So you can notice that the turning platform in this is slightly sloped to keep the ball moving. Um, however, a platform could be level and the momentum of the ball usually can carry it through the turn. This is just the way I've done it. Then I'm gonna take, finish the rest of the shoot by laying two planks there and then Go ahead and lay two on the ground. Now let's add the edges of our chute, the railings, if you will. And we'll go ahead and lay them here. Now, as I'm testing it out, if I'm going to test this, um, it's obviously gonna roll off the edge. So I have to create a bumper to start the ball hitting a side to come this way. So if I want the ball to come this way, I'm going to take three planks as the bumper and lay it diagonally there. And let's go ahead and test that and make sure it hits in the right spot. Okay, it does. So now that I've laid that, I need to find a way to get the ball to transfer onto this chute. So I'm gonna add another bit bumper and, and I'm going to lay that diagonally as well. So let's go ahead and test that, see if it hits the right spots to come down, and it does. So if it doesn't, you can just um, do some slight shifts. Maybe the angle needs to be different on your bumper. Um, you can just play along and experiment with that to make sure it hits the right spot as you go. So it might be slower there, so I'm going to maybe get those closer together. And that seems to work pretty well. So this is the example of the U-turn. The L-turn is very similar to the U-turn. We're just not going to make the chute come this way. We're going to make it come out this way. So um, let's go ahead and take these down. 
And we're starting with five, four, three, two. And uh, it doesn't matter whether you're starting this on the ground or up on a trestle, as long as you have that, um, that decline or that slight gradual uh, gradient, then um, it doesn't matter what height you're doing it. You can add an L turn at any point on your, on your ball run. So once we take the 5432, we're just going to take this two planks that are stacked here and pull it out a little bit so we create a bit of an edge. And um, since I have two here, I'm going to add one here and make our shoot come here. And then we can go ahead and add some more onto the ground here. And let's add some edge to that. And we've got our bumper here, so let's test that out and make sure it hits the right spot. So it got stuck there and that's okay. What we need to do is maybe turn this so it adds a bit more of a bump there and more um, a better way to get it to bounce. Let's try that. There we go, so that it gives a better direction. If you wanted to, you could also, um, this is a place where you could add a, um, you know, a track rather than a shoot. So taking something like this and separating it, but also maybe keeping this railing in case it needs a way to get onto the track. Let's try that. So you can do something like that if you wanted. Just play around. Um, you could even move this and make a bit of a zigzag to add some turns to your track and just play around with that. So this is an example of an L turn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And uh, if you have any suggestions on what to build next, you can leave it in the comments so we can hopefully do something like that in the future. And please follow us on our social media because we'd love to see what you create so you can share those with us. And uh, thanks for joining me. We can't wait to see what you create.